And all Number two sixty three. <laughs> Oh. 
Blessed, 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 blessed
journey this morning. We're heading somewhere. Oh, I told him last week in yeah, meeting I was in. I was younger, me and Linda would plan on going on a trip, but we didn't have GPS or anything like that. Had an old road map. Kept in the glove box. But we had to make plans. We had to pack up, get ready. And she'd get that road map out. Sometimes we'd run into construction. Sometimes that'd be a detour. But this right here, road map, this journey that we're on, the church that leads from here to heaven, this old path, Amen. it's not changed. And as there's no exit, there's no detour. But it's straight and narrow. And the Lord said, I'll leave, not leave you, nor will I forsake you. All the way, even up to the end of the world. That's a promise I'm counting on. Brother Rutgers said a while ago, he said, We've got every child of God's got one thing in common. We've got a hope. Some people may say, Well, if that's all you got, that's not much. But our hope is hope sure and steadfast that it's anchored within the veil of Jesus is gone. Our hope is secure. We're glad for you today. We're going to short day. Go to prayer. Brother Roger Landers has called and asked him to come be in this homecoming. We're thankful for him. Moderator of our corresponding association in Bethlehem, down in Wayne County. Got some visitors from down there. We love you. Love you too, it's brother. good to see you. Ain't seen you in a while. That love's still there. Love is stronger than death, but jealousy, the Bible says, is crueler than the grave. Yes. So it's good to, to be together. Yes, yes it is. Remember Sister Mary, not able to be here, and there's many more. I won't take the time, but God knows who they are. If you have a request that needs to be spoken, you're at liberty to do so. I always remember our prayer list for thank you for it. Brother Jerry, I'd like to be sure to remember me and my wife and my little children as well. Remember my good friend Augustine who was leading under the weather. Like the church started to be healed. I talked to him several times. He's a good friend to be here in the home pastor today. Bless his heart.
hide your sins and be praised in your sins. That's that's the Bible here. People sometimes try to sugarcoat things, but the truth is that you can't go to heaven unless you're born again in the Spirit of God. Amen. Repent, believe the gospel, be baptized, and follow this man Jesus, and he'll take you home. <coughs> we love you, everyone. That's all. But there, there's several of the women that I work with that has the sickness that's made back to me to remember to look up. Always remember me and mine, and I've got a friend that's had brain surgery, and now he's going to have to have a kidney removed. And I've got a nephew that's pretty sick. Y'all remember them. I like the box of prayer. children that may be sick, abused, the elderly. Let's remember each other this morning and go to the Lord in, in prayer and ask Brother Timmy Lane if he would to come and lead us in this prayer. Remember Brother Austin? Yes, Brother Austin. <coughs> That's my brother. Lord, as we call upon your name, Lord, we thank you, Lord, we're so thankful this morning to be able to gather here by the church this morning, dear Lord, and we're so thankful this morning, dear Lord, for the one that has come this way, as the Heavenly Father this morning, dear Lord, that now you just lead and guide us this morning, dear Lord, we know that we can do nothing this morning without you, so we just ask the Heavenly Father that you take these in charge of this little service, as you bless us, dear Lord, that brother Roger this morning, dear Lord, as uh, uh, he comes and breaks the bread alive here, dear Lord, uh, that your word may go out here this morning, dear Lord, that uh, it may be one here lost, that today would be the day uh, they would call upon your name before it's everlasting too late. Uh, we thank you this morning, dear Lord, for us being able to just uh, uh, humble ourselves before you and bow down before you and give you the thanks, dear Lord, uh, for what you've done for us, dear Lord. Uh, we just thank you this morning, dear Lord, and we ask you, Heavenly Father, this morning, dear Lord, how these prayer requests that went out here, how there's so many around laying sick this morning, dear Lord, how these requests that went out, we just ask you, Heavenly Father, if it be your will, Lord, that how you and grant each and every one of them here this morning, how there's so many in the old hospitals, how so many in the old folks' homes, skilled nurses, shut in in their little homes this morning, dear Lord. Uh, so many don't even know that they're in this 
world, but, but we know that we're serving one that's able this morning as we feel your will, Lord, uh, to touch them and put them back in their right mind, dear Lord, uh, uh, help them, dear Lord, to move them out of the old hospitals, uh, uh, so many around with cancer this morning, we have friends and loved ones, uh, and all kinds of uh, things that are going on in our lives, and we ask you, Heavenly Father, that you look down on them this morning, dear Lord, and help them. Dear Lord, we ask you today, Heavenly Father, uh, that you look down on Brother Frank, dear Lord. Uh, uh, he's been so sick and so feeble. Uh, and we ask you, Heavenly Father, uh, that you just strengthen him this morning, dear Lord, that he be able, dear Heavenly Father, uh, to get out and visit the little churches again like he always loves to do. Uh, and not only him, but all the ones today, dear Lord, uh, uh, they can't get around no more. And we ask you, Heavenly Father, uh, that you bless this little church here, dear Lord. Uh, uh, bless Brother Jerry, dear Lord, and the leader and the, uh, Brother Witt here today, Heavenly yeah. Father, uh, uh, that they would do your will, dear Lord. Uh, and people in this community, dear Lord, would be able, dear Lord, to see uh, uh, the works they do dear Lord, uh, uh, nothing they've done, dear Lord, always through by uh, your goodness this morning, dear Lord, uh, and we just ask you, Heavenly Father, uh, uh, to go with us here today and lead us and guide us, uh, and once again, dear Lord, we ask you to bless Brother Roger, uh, uh, that your word goes out here this morning, dear Lord, uh, uh, so many lost around, dear Lord, uh, we have family members and things, dear Lord, neighbors around us. We just ask you, dear Lord, this morning, uh, if there be anyone here lost today, dear Lord, uh, that you'd speak to their heart, dear Lord, yeah, Lord, that they would come to you, dear Lord, before it's everlasting too late. Yeah. Dear Lord, we thank you once again for each and every one that's come this way. We ask you, dear Heavenly Father, just have your way with the service here this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs>
around us. And, yeah. The seats where some of the brothers and sisters used to sit are sleeping today, resting from their labors, their works to follow. We miss them naturally in this world, but you die in the Lord. Peaceful sleep. Yeah. No, no awakening until that trumpet sounds, brother. Amen. Amen. And when God turns to His Son, our Savior, go get your church and bring them home. I want to be in that number. Amen. Amen. More than anything. Yes, Lord God. John said, I saw a number that no man could number out of every kindred, tongue, nation, and people standing before God. Yeah, that's before the throne, yeah, yeah, white yeah. robes. If they were dressed up, you gotta get dressed up down yeah, here. If you're on this journey, people just keep right on. Yeah. The old devil's loose, he's working. He's trying every way to tell people that they can't go to heaven. But I'm here to tell you that the Lord died for the sin of this yeah, whole world. Yeah. Yeah. He died for <coughs> every man and woman that comes to maturity. Listen, when they grow up and they come to a mature age, they're going to naturally go out in sin. Yeah, that's it. That's old time doctrine, but it'll hold. Oh, yeah. It'll hold. Amen. We was conceived in sin. You can't raise and make a Christian now. They will in nature go out in sin. That there's only one way to come back, and that's through the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And be born again. Amen. Amen. And have a lively hope. Yeah. <laughs> no, no it was not, it's not dead. It won't die. They may put you in the ground. That hope's still there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, and he's coming to get you if you're his. Yeah, no. Oh, just rest a little while. Rest in good Lord. And it's better farther on. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Can't imagine. I try to sometimes. I can't imagine what it's like when the place, Brother Tim, that. The temperature's just right. There's no heartache. There's no pain. No, no sickness. Death can't come in that land. No, no. And give us a body like his most glorious body. Brother Paul, and we're going to get up and, and sing. There won't be any more praying or preaching. Right. But there'll be some singing. I've been redeemed Amen. both soul and body by the blood of the Lamb. I, I got a resurrection one time down in here. Yeah. But I'm waiting on another change. Yes, good Job point. said, I'll wait all the days of my appointed time yeah. till my change shall yeah. come. Yeah. Yeah. He'll call for me and I'll answer. Mm -hmm. He'll have a desire to the work of his hands. Yes, He's coming back, my people, mm -hmm. if you're not ready. Make preparations. Yeah. Listen, we can't save you. I couldn't save myself. That's a good Lord. But it's through the mercy of God. <coughs> By the grace of God and through faith. We love you today. We've got singers here. We love them. We were surprised and, and very pleasantly surprised to see them come. Yeah. Uh, the coffees uh, <coughs> ask you if you would come and sing, and whoever sings with you, and sing a few songs. We thank God for it. Yes, amen. Amen. That's the good Lord.
rise and shine. There's a new day is on me. The voice that you hear is your soul calling. Don't wait till the morrow. The Lord knows it's time. Just look to the east, the light's breaking through, morning has broken, all things are made new, and rise and shine, there's a new day dawning, the voice that you hear. Is your soul according? Don't wait till tomorrow. The Lord knows it's time to rise and shine. Rise and shine. Yeah, that's God. To rise and shine. Rise and shine.
The old preacher man stood there in the pulpit. The church house was empty almost. His eyes filled with tears. His mind filled with memories of not so long ago. When the church house was full, not one pew was empty. The altar was stained with saints' tears. As he stands there this morning, he sounds out the warning once again, letting them know. Yes, yes, bless them, Lord. There's a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Bless him, Lord. The way is still straight. Yeah, bless him, Lord. There's a yeah, race to Thank be. Amen. You can live as you please. Bless him, but you must pay the cost and the highway to heaven still goes by the cross. Some of his members thought he was old fashioned, unwilling to change with the time. So they found other churches, more modern day preachers who were willing to let things go by. But the old preacher stood for what he believed in and what he had preached for. As he stands there this morning in a near empty church house, his opening remarks are these words. There's a heaven to gain and a hell to shine. The way is still straight. <coughs> There's a race to be run. You can live as you please, but you must pay the cost and the highway to heaven. If I can remember it, I goes by the cross. Now the old preacher may. Stands there in that city, the city he's preached of so long, and he's never seen such a great congregation all gathered to welcome him home, and he's never heard more beautiful singing that is coming Hell. from that heavenly band. He's preached his last sermon. He's carried his last burden. He's at rest in a heavenly heaven. There's a heaven to gain and a hell to shine. The way is still straight. There's a race to be run. You can live as you please, but you must pay the cost and the highway to heaven still goes by. As you please, 
But you must pay the cost and the highway to heaven still goes by the cross. Thank you, Lord. What's the next line? Sit out there, but it sure is sitting here. Yes, Lord. I think of that song that Sister Brenda sang. The light of the old church still shining bright. Yeah. A lot of trouble in this world, but there's not in God's church. There ain't no trouble in His church, it's all in the world. Yeah. Yeah. What we make out of here in this in this life, the church is going to persevere. Yeah. Amen. Don't never don't never think that the church is going down. Yeah. Membership may go down, but I'm telling you, the church of God is going to persevere yeah. to glory when one day after a while. Yeah. I can remember it all the time saying. Sitting high. 
of life is blooming yeah. where the hat has not been told. No more tears in that bright city. Death will have to flee away. No more sin. preacher man you know I've been coming here for several years I look around I see a lot of empty seats where a lot of saints used to sit a lot of people they, they seem like they're scared to be called a saint but I'm telling you one day after a while the saints of God are going to leave this world yeah they're going to get up, Brother Jerry, out of the grave. They're going to get up out of the sea. They're, they're going to get up everywhere, the saints of God. And they're going to all be reunited. Some I haven't seen for a long time. But I've got a promise of God that I can and I will see them again after this life here. I thought sitting there on my seat and talking about hope. If you don't have hope, you don't have nothing. You don't have eternal life if you don't have hope. The Bible says if we see hope, why do we hope for it? But we don't we don't hope for that that we see, but we hope for that that we see not. And with patience. We wait for that hope. Yeah. Thank you, Lord God. 
I've been waiting for a long time for the hope that we've got yes. and the hope that I've been hoping for. Yes. I haven't received it yet, Brother Jerry. But I'm telling you, after a while, we're going to receive our hope that we've been longing for, been looking for, been waiting for, and with patience, thank God, one day after a while, yeah. we will receive the end of our hope here, but it'll be a new day dawning for them that love and serve the Lord. Think about, I think about, I thought about the two people. I thought about the rich. I thought about the poor. I thought about heaven. I thought about hell. I, through all these songs, it's really it got my mind in, in many different directions here this morning. Uh, oh, I, it's got it all up on a lot of things, but it's got it, our mind on one thing and one way here in this life. Yeah, yeah. And we are today, there's there's many things that we read in here, but it all points to one way. Yeah, yeah. And if we leave that way off, Brother Jerry, we'll miss out. Because right. Jesus said, I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life. Amen. And bless God this morning, I want to follow Jesus. Yeah, yeah. That one day after a while, this whole body of mine, yeah, that when it goes back to the dust, if it's time permits, bless God today, listen. Brother Jerry, we go to a lot of funeral homes during this life. Yeah, but we're going to a country after a while, there'll never be another undertaker. There'll never be another funeral home. How we won't read about our brothers and sisters of passing from this life. <laughs> But when we all enter into that place that God has prepared for those that love and look for His second appearing, bless God, listen, we'll be like Him in that day. But if we neglect, if we neglect to call it up on Jesus in the pardon and remission of our sins, my friend, listen, you neglect doing that. Listen, the Bible says we've all sinned. Amen. And we've all come short of the glory of God. And sin has separated us uh, from our God. And if you're lost today, your sin has separated you from your God. Uh, but thanks be unto God, He made a way today through the suffering, through the death, I listen, I believe the Bible says for the joy that was yeah. set before him, yeah. he endured the suffering even to the death on the cross yeah. that you and I could be reconciled mm -hmm. back to God through uh, the death, burial, and resurrection, the blood that was shed there on the cross. I listen, through him today, through Jesus Christ, you can be reconciled, be brought back in favor with God. Yeah. Bless his name. You want to be back in favor with God? Your sin separated you. You can be bought. You can be reconciled back to God through faith in the operation that He wrought in His Son Jesus Christ. Listen, when He came into this world and took upon Himself a body of flesh, uh, listen, He was made sin for us uh, with no sin in Him, but He was made sin yeah. for us. Praise God. That through his suffering and through his death, through the shed blood there on the cross of Calvary, listen, through the operation that he wrought through his son, my friend, listen today, you can be reconciled back in favor with God. Every sin, listen, every sin, every transgression, every idle word, every, every sin of every kind, listen, can be... I wiped away from your slate today through faith through faith it's not the good things that you do it's through faith in that shed blood of the Lamb of God listen without faith you can't get nowhere without faith you can't please God without faith God's fixed a way that through faith brother Jerry I'm glad that it's through faith today I didn't have to have no money. I didn't have to have no wealth. I listen, but through faith that we could have this right to the tree of life and through repentance toward God. I listen today. 
I, I, I never seen Jesus uh, when he was walking here on the earth. I never, I never uh, was blessed to hear his words out of his natural life. But I've got his word with me today. I've got the word with me. I've got the word that was made flesh and dwelt among us. And Paul said we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth. My friends, listen, it's by grace are we saved today through faith. And not of yourselves. You can't save yourself. We've got a Savior today that's sitting on the right hand of God his Father, making intercessions for all that will have faith and come to him through repentance. And listen, and when you repent of your sins, you ask Jesus uh, to come into your life. Uh, you want life. Jesus will give you life today. He is the only one that uh, can bring you from a dead state of sin to a lively hope this morning. Yeah. Praise God. For the jury, he can change our lives. And I am blessed God today. Listen. It's all through faith of working toward Him and drawing nigh to Him, and He can draw nigh unto you. Listen today, my friends. It's by grace that you're saved through faith and not of yourselves, but it's a free gift of God today. Amen. And I thought, I thought of these scriptures. I thought about... I'm used to quitting about this time down Wayne County. But I'm telling you today, we started a little bit earlier down there. But I'm telling you today, this, this could be the most happiest day of your life if you're lost. Yes, if you're a sinner today, listen, uh, this can be the most joyful day of your life when you ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins. Uh, and listen, repent of your sins and come to Jesus with a broken and a contrite spirit. I remember the time, Brother Jerry, how that the Word of God, it began to prick me in the heart and I become, listen, I've got, hey God, I've got a sorrow in my life yeah. how for the sin because I had sinned against God and <clears> against <throat> heaven. Listen, I got I that godly sorrow in my life and it worked repentance yeah. in my yeah. life. Yes, amen. Yes. Get a godly sorrow that you've sinned against God and you're lost with no hope. And I'm telling you today, God, I listen, He can come into your life with His Spirit today. I'm blessed God. He can make you a brand new creature today in Christ. And bless God when you're able, I listen, when you accept the Spirit of God and His Son Jesus Christ. I listen down in your life. I bless God you can go down to the water somewhere. I bless God today and you can be buried with Christ. You can be buried in the greatest, highest names that we ever read about or heard about here in this life. I listen, I remember how when the brethren took me down to the water right, and they lifted their hands toward heaven right, and said, By we baptize this heart, brother, right, in the name of the Father, right, and the Son, right, and the Holy Ghost, right, right, all three of them down inside of me right, as one. Right, and bless God, listen, right, when I got up out of the grave, how the liquid grave I was risen with Christ and listen from that time brother Jerry I've set my mind and my affections on the things which are above I listen my brothers and sisters I listen I had a goal set in my mind and I've still got it today that one day after Wow, I, I know and realize I, I, that this old body of mine, I, I, it's a person day by day. I, I used to come here, Brother Jerry, I, I, when I was just a babe in Christ. I, I was some of the old ones, I, I, now I am old. I, I bless God today, I'm thankful I, I, that I've got older. I, I bless God, but if yeah. I do, I, I, if I get any older, I, I, if I don't get no older, I, I bless God, listen, I, I, that hope is just as bright today, yeah. I, I, maybe a little bit yeah. brighter I, yeah. I, than it was when I 
begin uh, to make my way uh, uh, in the old church. Uh, uh, listen, God uh, has changed my life, uh, and He'll change your life uh, uh, if you uh, are born again of God's Spirit. Uh, I remember a jury uh, uh, when I was reading there uh, about a man called Nicodemus. Uh, uh, listen, he come to Jesus by night, uh, and he said, Good Master, I know. Uh, uh, that you do these things. Uh, uh, I know that God is with you. Uh, uh, Brother Jerry, uh, I know that God is with you. Uh, I know that God is with me. Uh, uh, listen, he told Jesus, uh, uh, God has to be with you because no man can do yeah. these miracles uh, except God be with him. Uh, and my friends today, he can work a miracle in your life. Uh, uh, listen, he'll cause you to do things uh, uh, that you didn't do out in the world. Uh, he'll cause you to quit things that you used to do in the world. Uh, uh, when you become born again, he told Nicodemus, uh, uh, listen, Nicodemus said, how? Uh, he told Nicodemus, you must be born again, Nicodemus. Uh, and Nicodemus said, how can I uh, enter into the second time into my mother's womb uh, and be born? And he told Nicodemus, uh, he said, Nicodemus, uh, uh, that that is flesh, uh, is flesh. That's all I had. Uh, uh, that's what I was. Uh, uh, but that that is spirit is spirit uh, and this son um, he said Nicodemus uh, uh, you see the leaves on the trees uh, uh, blowing out here uh, uh, the wind blows where it listens uh, and you cannot tell where it comes or goes uh, uh, you can see the effects of it uh, uh, you can see the effects of the wind uh, uh, but you can't see the wind uh, uh, he said so is every man uh, uh, that is born again uh, of God's divine spirit uh, uh, listen, you can't see the Spirit in me, uh, uh, but bless God today I hope uh, and I pray God uh, uh, that I can live a life uh, uh, that you can see the effects of God's Spirit uh, uh, down in my life. Uh, and bless God after a while, listen, uh, I read about a man one time. Uh, uh, listen, I read about two of them. Uh, uh, listen, one uh, I was a beggar. Uh, uh, listen, and the other uh, I was a rich man. And uh, my friend, I got this on my mind. Uh, uh, when I was hearing the song about the old preacher, uh, uh, there's a way. Listen, uh, uh, my friends today, that old preacher, and we're still preaching the same thing. Uh, uh, Brother Jerry, today, uh, uh, listen, for people to repent of their sins uh, and come to Jesus and be saved from their sins. Uh, he's the only way today. Uh, uh, there's people today looking for modern things in this world. Uh, uh, there's churches that are looking for modern things. Uh, uh, they got to have a little bit more uh, and a little bit more. Uh, I'm telling you today, listen, uh, uh, God is not a God. Uh, uh, you don't have to have anything today uh, uh, made with man's hands uh, uh, to worship Him with. Uh, uh, for God is a spirit uh, and He seeketh such uh, uh, to worship Him uh, in truth and in spirit. Uh, uh, my friends today, uh, uh, God is a God of love uh, and if a man uh, is born of God uh, he is born of love uh, yeah. and if you see somebody with a heart of hatred uh, he don't have the spirit of God because uh, right. uh, if you got God you got love Amen. Amen. and you'll not hide God's love you'll not hide God's love it's called his love is has took me to a lot of places in this world to be with my church family. Lord, bless you, Lord. I thank God today for His love. God so loved this world. Yeah. We've heard that mentioned time and time again. But it's just as true today as it was uh, the first time I ever heard it. Amen. That's true. You must say, how long have you heard about God's love? You know, when I was just a little fella in school, when I was just a little bitty fella in school, <coughs> There used to be some school <coughs> Bible teachers. Mm -hmm. two, two ladies, probably a lot of you have witnessed them. They come here, they'd give us Bible verses. And that one Bible verse has never left me since I was been a child. You might say, was you a Christian? No, I wasn't a Christian. You can be a young child, you can be a sinner and still hear and remember the scriptures. 
But I remember when I was a child, and them, uh, a teacher would come around to the schools. Mm -hmm. Look at the changes made. They'd come and teach people. Yeah. They'd teach the young ones and bring them up sometime with the knowledge. And I thought about God's love for many a year. Before I ever become a servant of God, I heard about it, and I, and I understood how that God so loved this world yeah. that he gave his only begotten son into the world. That stuck with me. And I hope it sticks with you today. Yeah. If you're lost and you leave here today, I hope that that John 3, 16, I hope it sticks right in your cross, the old yeah, saying is. It, it, it did mine. Yeah. Stuck down in there for a long, many years. Before I ever really give my heart to the Lord. Bless God. But still that, that love of God. Listen. God so loved this world. They, I learned that I learned that John 3 16 when I was just a, in school, mm -hmm. grade school. And I firmly believe that his love is rich today. Amen. Mm -hmm. I believe his love is more abounding today. As we get closer home, his yeah. love seems like it just gets yeah. better and better mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah, sure I thought does. about these two fellows here, and I maybe tried to. Brother Jerry, no time is running out with us here, but, but maybe I'll go through this here a little bit and not hold you too long. I'm the Lord, brother. And the rich die and the poor die. We've all got that in common today. And I, I, I studied about, I studied about how God created the heavens, the earth, and He He created every living creature. And give everything uh, the same the same opportunity back there, and, and and the living all living has got one thing in common. Even the fowls of the fish, the, the the everything that's alive today, along with man, we've got it all in common today. Uh, Death. Yeah. Death. We've got everything in common with the beast today. They they've got life and they die. We've got life and we die. We all got it in common today. Yeah, you, Death. We're faced with it. And I thought about these two men right here. Uh, the rich man, how that he lived his life out here on the earth. And how the beggar, how that he suffered many things. Brother Jerry, a lot of difference, wasn't it? But they, but they both died. I want you to think about this. They both died, and, and, and they both went somewhere, but they went different places. Same way with us today. When the Christian people die, they go into a place, and when the sinner man dies, no hope, he goes to a place. Bless him, good Lord. What you think about that? Bless him, good Lord. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple, and fine linen. And he fared sumptuously every day. There was a certain beggar <coughs> named Lazarus, which was laid at the, his gate full of sores. This, this uh, beggar was laid at the rich man's gate every day full of sores. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. The dogs had more compassion on that beggar than the rich man did, no yeah. doubt. That's a good Lord. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the jury. I think of that a whole lot. No. When you die, are you going to be buried or are you going to be carried? That's a good Lord. Now, that's a choice that we've got to make. That's the problem. We've got a choice to make whether we're going, when this life is over, where are we going? Are we going to be buried like that rich man no. or are we going to be carried by the angels? into Father Abraham's bosom. So we're going to die. We're going to die. And we're going to get up somewhere. 
some way, we're going to get up. <coughs> Father, we pray. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into, into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died, both of them, and was buried. The rich man was buried, and the beggar was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, the rich man. In hell. He was, he, in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being tormented. My friend, hell just is real heaven today. You to believe that I don't, I, don't, I don't think a lot of people don't believe that there's a hell there's a hell to go to. A lot of people say, "Yeah, I believe in heaven, but I don't believe God has seen you in hell." You better you better read God's word. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off. And Lazarus in his bosom. Wonder what the wonder what the, the rich man thought about the beggar then. You know. God. Here he lived sumptuously, dressed in purple, fine linen, as he lived here. Here the beggar suffered probably many many things here and didn't have probably nothing. But when they died, the beggar went went to Father Abraham's bosom. Then he had everything. The rich man was buried, and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments. <clears throat> and he cried. The rich man cried. I don't believe the beggar ever cried no more. And I don't believe he ever desired the crumbs from the dogs or the rich man either. But listen. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. He, be, he, he came a beggar. He was a beggar then. Yeah. He wasn't worrying about his riches. No. He, wasn't about, he wasn't worrying about the purple or that he wore and the fine linen. He, he probably, that was probably the least from his mind when he was in the torment. Yeah. And he began to say to Father Abraham, send Lazarus, the beggar, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. Think about it, friends, today. Think about it. And cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. You know that one day after a while, God's wrath, He made a promise way years ago after the flood came, He made a promise that he would never destroy this earth with water, mm -hmm. but he would destroy it with water the next time. Uh -huh. or, uh, he'd never destroy it with wa uh, water again, but it will be with fire. Yeah. Now there's coming a day that God's going to pour out his wrath. And this earth and, the fir and, the, and, and everything in it is going to melt with fire and heat. Yeah. Yeah. Going to be dissolved, be burned up. But Abraham said, Son, Brother Jerry, I, I've studied a whole lot about if we had, if we could just talk to people one more time. Yeah. <laughs> that left this world with no hope. Can't you imagine what Father Abraham was a thinking? Here, here he was. But Abraham said, Son, I would love to talk to some of the funerals that I've preached left out of this world no hope I'd like to speak to him now one more time when you he said son remember that thou in thy lifetime thou receiveth the good things and likewise Lazarus the evil things 
But now he's comforted. And thou art tormented. And beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. Okay, there ain't gonna be no going back and forth. I can't I can't go down in the flames and bring people out today. Or nobody else. We can't go down there and talk to them. They can't come here and we can't go to them. Neither can they pass to us that would come from hence. Then he said, I pray thee. Now the beggar, or the, the rich man become a beggar. He were, probably wasn't worried about nobody as long as he had the riches and the wealth of this world and going about the, the things of this life and enjoying this life. He wasn't worried too much about nobody, I don't think. But he began to get worried when he ended up in the hell and in the torment. He began to get concerned. He began to have a little compassion, but it was too late. You wait too late, you're going to be praying uh, to die, and according to the Bible, death will flee from you. I, I, I hope you get scared today. I'm telling you, that the wrath of God, if you're here today and you don't know Jesus in the pardon remission of your sin, I'm telling you today, the wrath of God is abiding upon you today. It's abiding upon you, the, the wrath of God. Then he said, the rich man talking to Father Abraham, he, he said, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. The rich man was wanting Father Abraham to send Lazarus to his father's house. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. I'm telling you today, my friends, I, Jesus raised from the dead and he preached his own everlasting gospel and they wouldn't hear him. Amen. Though he would, though he would uh, go to them from the dead, they still won't hear him. There's a few that believes one raised from the dead. I'm looking at some of you here today. But there's a lot of them won't believe Jesus, though he rose from the dead. He said, I am he that was alive and was dead, and now I'm alive forevermore. He got up from the grave. And if people will hear him and believe in him, they can be saved from their sins today. And Moses, and he said unto him, If they hear not Moses... And the prophets, neither will they be persuaded the one rose from the dead. We're telling people today, and just like that song, the old preacher man, we're telling you today that Jesus suffered and shed his blood, and even to the death on the cross, buried in a tomb for three days and three nights, and behold, bless God today that he got up from the dead, and listen, he preached his own everlasting gospel for about three and a half years. And while he was teaching the disciples there, I, he began to leave this earth. He's alive today. Jesus is alive today. And if you can have faith in that and repent of your sins, listen, you can be born again. You can be saved from your sins. And here these brethren were standing right there uh, talking to him, eyewitnesses that he had risen from the grave and he taught his disciples what about 40 days 40, 40 days I believe the Bible says pertaining to the kingdom of God and listen today uh, you can become a child of the kingdom today yes Lord praise God I'm not looking for the kingdom to come because I've been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son today. Amen. We 
hear people preaching all the time on radios, TVs, that God's going to set up a kingdom, my friends. He's already established it. Amen. It's a spiritual house. It's a spiritual house today. It's a spiritual kingdom today. And that's the reason he told Nicodemus, except you be born again of his spirit, you cannot see the kingdom. Except you be born of water and of the spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom. Amen. Bless God. Bless God. Flesh can't get in the kingdom today. It has to be born again. You have to be born again before you can even see the spiritual kingdom that we're in today. John the Baptist, he come preaching. <clears throat> Listen, the law and the prophets were unto John. John come preaching the kingdom. Jesus preached it. It was, it was very needful that Jesus go throughout all the regions preaching the gospel of his kingdom. Yeah. And he preached her too, didn't he, for about three and a half years. Now people can press into it. You can press into his kingdom today through faith. Through faith and repentance toward God. I love you today. I'm glad that I'm a child of the king. I'm a child of the king today. You can become a child of the king. Through that new birth. Been regenerated from a dead state of sin to a lively hope in Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't feel charged like this when I left home this morning. <laughs> Listen, I've been charged. I've been I've been eaten of that bread today. Jesus said, "I am the true bread." Yeah. If you eat of Jesus, eat of His Word, and if you don't eat His Word, you have no eternal life. You don't have no eternal life. The world can't give you eternal life. But right here is the words of eternal life. And Jesus said, I am the true bread that come down from God out of heaven that a man can eat thereof and never die. Never die. The soul will live on and on. And bless God today. Jerry, I'm trying to quit. I'm getting scattered now. But I'm telling you today, we're, we're rejoicing today in the hope. My brothers and sisters, we're rejoicing today. Whether we live or whether we die, we're the Lord's today. Yeah, yeah. I begin to think, when I go to a lot of uh, cemeteries, I follow our people to the grave. Some of them I can say, I'll see you again. Some of them I'll never say that to. Bless God. Some of them I'll never see. Some of our families I'll never see again. But there's a lot of people mm. that I've preached over their funeral that I feel sure that I'll see them again. Yeah. Because the Bible says there's coming an hour in the which that all the dead that are in the graves are going to hear his voice. Think about it. Think about a God that we're serving today that is able to speak and say, come forth we'll come for get up out of the grave with a glorified body listen brother jerry i've thought a whole lot right up down these roads and some of these cemeteries sitting on a hill that you can't get a a, a hearse to they carry them up the hill there's trees about that big in in the cemeteries some of them grow on top of probably people have been planted but i'm telling you today that we're serving a god that is able to bring it all up yeah. amen he is able to bring the dust and he'll sing in that day. Bless God. I'm not serving a dead God today. No, no. I'm serving a God that's got all power. Amen. And he's promised us today, listen, the hope that we've got. We're saved by hope. And this hope maketh not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of them with the hope I've got today. I'm not ashamed to own them. I'm not ashamed to confess them today. Bless the good Lord. I'm telling you, he's the one that's got all the power. Yes, amen. One of these days, if I'm asleep in the grave, yeah. my hope is that he'll call and I'll get up. Yeah. I'll get, I've got faith to believe that. Yeah. If I didn't have faith to believe that, I wouldn't believe in God so loved the world. I wouldn't believe none of that if I didn't have faith in the resurrection. That God's going to call all the sleeping graves. They're going all the dust. The sea will give up the dead that's in them. The graves will give up the dead that are in them. And the Bible says that those that have done good, uh -huh. 
That's keeping his commandments, living and loving, serving him. Those that have done good under the resurrection of everlasting life. Yeah, amen. Those that have done evil under the resurrection of everlasting contempt and shame. Do you want to get up to shame in that morning when you die and get up face the judgment? Are you going to get up in shame? I want to get up unto eternal life. Yes, amen. So my friends today, listen. This old body, they'll sow it, they'll take it out here at the grave somewhere. This old outward man you're looking at, he's a perishing day by day. But the inner man's being renewed day by day. Well, one of these days after a while, this old corruptible body, Lord, I rejoice. I rejoice in the hope. Mm -hmm that I don't have to lay there in the grave. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, we're not going to stay in the grave. Mm -hmm. There ain't no grave going to hold this body of mine mm -hmm. down. Yep. <laughs> but when this old corruptible body, it'll raise incorruptible. Mm -hmm. And this old mortal will put on immortality. Mm -hmm. Be so in a natural, raise the spiritual. And bless God today, when we get up in that morning, we'll have our glorified body likened unto his glorious body. Yes, and bless God, listen, then we'll be glad, really be glad <laughs> that we served him yeah. while living here upon this earth. For my friends today, you talk about a homecoming. Yeah. When all of God's children get up out of the grave, they get up out of the sea, wherever they're at. My friend, listen, they may be under a six foot of concrete. They may be under uh, all these big buildings, but I'm telling you, whenever God calls, they're going to live again. Yeah, yeah, they're right. going to live yeah. again. And those that fail to repent of your sins and beg his forgiveness, you're going to wind up where the rich man was. Yeah. You're going to end up in a lake that burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. May God have mercy and help you understand that here in this life, all the pleasures of this world is just temporal. But I'm telling you today what God's promises, listen, they're eternal. Amen. What God has promised us are eternal. So what, what's your choice today? Do you want the things of God that are eternal? Or do you want the pleasures of sin that last for just a little season? Then they're gone. So let give me Jesus, give me Jesus, and let the world go by. Yeah. 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 Talking about a resurrection, you know, Isaiah said, Our dead men shall live yeah. together with my dead body, shall they arise. He said, Awake and sing, ye that dwell in the dust shall be. Going to get up. Earth shall be. Going to get up. going to be a getting up time. And we're glad for you. We're going to shortly come to a close. We thank God for what we heard. We thank God for each and every one of you. Going to get a song and announce that the church door is open. Yes. Yeah. Now we didn't open it, God did, and He's going to be the one that shuts it. And the brothers talked to you and preached to you about how you get, how you go down in the grave is how you're going to come out. Mm -hmm. So that's why we preach, knowing the terror of the Lord. The Bible says we persuade Him. That don't mean we go back and no, try to get somebody no. and try to come on work. Preaching the word. The word has to persuade them, and it comes from God yeah. through a man he's called to preach. And God sends it out, the man don't. And he says, where he sends it, it'll accomplish. Yeah, it won't be a void. No, so we thank God today for you. And the church door is open. If God, for Christ's sake, has pardoned you of your sins and you want fellowship with this old church, you can come and let it be made known while we sing. 293. 
eyes are open for someone ready for fellowship and you feel the Lord forgive you for your sins, come up and let us know. Then after our service, we'll take you down to the water and we'll bury you in Christ. He's just saying, come. Jesus is standing with outstretched arms. Saying, come on to me, all ye ends of the earth, and be ye saved. Jesus wants you to be saved. He don't want you to die lost. Go into that awful place. But he wants your soul to go to heaven with us. just like we are today but remember what he's preached to you that God loves you yeah. God is love we love you today and yes. yes if there's any announcements that needs to be made no anything brother want to give out we have church tonight at Echo 6 o'clock if anybody down that way I want to say I thank brother Jerry and the church for the opportunity to come and share the good news with you yeah, well, it was shared with me a long time ago and I believed it and I obeyed it and it led me to everlasting life yeah. thank you for the opportunity well, you. Yeah. Well, it was first came to Jesus yeah. back Jerry. on the third weekend 11 o'clock the brother asked me to sing and I said that I would okay go right ahead look me on my heart so dark and stormy, you might say there was no hope for me, but Jesus came and shined his love down on me, he whispered to me, so soft and warm, the King of kings, the Lord I promise. Is your life lonely today? 
Are you without the Lord today and you got lonely in your heart? The Lord can feel that today with peace. He can feel it with joy and happiness. He can change your life. Yes, yes. He gave his life for me to show me what it was to be free. The King of kings, the Lord of glory, freely breathed, had mercy on me. Thank you, Lord. He delivered me from a life. See the path before me. This world she has no more holds on me. And in me, thank the Lord, thank the Lord. His father, he knows me yeah. and carries me away to eternity. The King of Kings, the Lord of glory. Valley. Muncie Valley, uh, every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. Uh, love to see you come over that way. Uh, we also go to uh, the Elizabeth Church on Friday night over at Elizabeth. Uh, Brother uh, Noah White's uh, pastor over there. We try to go and help him on Friday night at 11 o'clock. So come join us. Uh, love to see you. <coughs> Thank you. Say that song that she just sang, she wrote that song. Yeah, right. Got a good man, got a good message in it. That's my baby. <laughs> gathering we thank you for each heart that's made to come this way dear god heavenly father we pray that if there be any lost in the number that they'll count up the cost consider the situation lord before it's everlasting too late lord and we ask you heavenly father we know of one this morning no doubt there's others brother alton dear god would have loved to have been here but due to sickness, dear God, we ask you, look down upon him and touch his body, Lord. Yes. Heavenly Father, we pray, Lord, for the food that's been prepared. Yes, Lord. Ask you to bless the hands, Heavenly Father, that has prepared it, yes, and that it'll be nourishment for the body. Thank you for the food that we have had yes. here in this service, dear Lord, that's went out. Yes. We believe, dear God, that's come from that spiritual table. That's on high. Thank you for the brethren that come. Yes, 
So, Heavenly Father, to preach for us this morning. Go with us, bring us back at the next appointed time. We ask you, God, in the name of Jesus. And amen. 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 amen.